Yo, this is your fam, General Powell, Anoli Shadows from the House of Hipstep, Fire Step and Entertainment 2018 with another one. Gotta give you my two pennies, yo. videos can be long some of them will be but not very many y'all know i get i start talking and shit but i'm gonna try to keep these videos short to the point because i want to make more videos and i want to be able to get my opinion on more things and i don't want y'all to get you know bored with me and shit you know what i'm saying but this is general power no these shadows and let's just get right into it you know i hope my nashville peeps is good my salt lake city peeps is good my la peeps is good my new york peeps everywhere you know i hope y'all good but let's talk about this shit. All right? Look. Eminem versus MGK. Machine Gun Kelly, right? You know. Um I've been in a, I've been in battles and shit like that. I've 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 paid my dues in the game of hip hop. You know, I paid my dues in 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 this genre. And um you know the the who 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 eat the who? I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, man. Actual facts, you know. Um, M ethered Machine Gun Kelly on that. M ethered him. It wasn't a wipeout. It was not a wipeout. But he ethered him. But you know what I found real interesting was that Machine Gun Kelly himself was like giving Eminem slick props in a way. Like, like it, did anybody else peep that shit? It's like he kind of gave him props. To a degree, it was like, he was like, you know, I'm your prodigy or I'm, um, you, you, you more than me or you, not like that, but like you, you know, he was, if y'all peeped the song, you know what I'm saying? I peeped M's, then I peeped MGK's, you know? So I could have a, I could have a, 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 a solid opinion on the situation. And I'm gonna tell you straight up, man. Why did M? I'm gonna tell you exactly why M murked MGK. A because MGK was like, like his his bars. His bars was MGK's bars was he had solid lines. I, I smiled quite a few times. I smiled, you know. I, I, he made me laugh. But M had more impactful punchlines that hit me a little bit harder. You know what I'm saying? Then MGK did, and um, and um, and and M's delivery was was more flawless. You know, and don't get me twisted. MGK did a good job, but M's M M ethered him on that on that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't think anybody is surprised about that. You know, um, but MGK definitely made put his got his name out there. He definitely represented and he definitely 
did his thing. You know, we'll, 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 we'll you know, we'll give him that. All right. But M, M Ether, M Ether, MGK on that. All right. And let's look at it. You know, hip hop is about content. You know, there's been a big debate about Eminem. Um, is, is, is he just a lyrical, like Lord Jamar on the Yada I Mean God cast was saying, you know, M is just lyrical. He's just, he, he, he uses words and his wordplay is, is very intriguing. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But, you know, Eminem also has content and, and, and in, in this battle, M came with content. It's about content, you know? And M's content was just a little bit more impactful and just a little bit more right on to the to the to the beef, you know, than MGK's was. And I'm not saying MGK did not have good bars. I'm not saying MGK didn't didn't did, did was whack on a song. I'm not saying that at all. He wasn't. But it's about content. A battle is about content. Lyrical wordplay is good. MGK had good content, but M came with wordplay and content. And when you have wordplay and content together, it it it's 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 a powerhouse, you know. And that's what M brought, you know. I think that, you know, it's it's important that, you know, we don't look at Eminem from his 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 uh, popularity from a, it's, it's not a popularity contest whenever you have a beef at that point it's about who bar for bar it's about how did it make you feel how did it leave you feeling and after I listened to both with the with the with the with the non-biased state of mind M's verse left me feeling more like whoa you know than MGK's um response the, his song to Eminem it, 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 MGK song made me feel like yo wow but M's verse made me feel like woo like yo like damn you know so I'm gonna give that one to M without and I'm gonna give MGK his props though you know what I'm saying and much respect to him I'm not a fan of him like that um you know but it is what it is is it a white thing well, you have two MCs, two uh, white Americans or Americans of European descent who are coming at it. And, but when we talk in hip hop, it's not about a black or a white thing. Hip hop is about an MC thing. All right, I'm gonna say that again. Hip hop is about an MC thing. So the MGK Eminem beef isn't a white thing. You know, it's it's an MC thing, and we're gonna measure it from the standpoint of being an MC. You know, um, I do I do think that it's a natural progression of life and of the music industry for all of these white MCs to be getting light these days. It's a natural progression because you know, the black man. We invented the culture. We invented this genre and this art form in 1973. Cedric Avenue, you know, and, and Cedar Park. And, and with cool DJ Cool Herc, a black man, you know. But for early on, you know, you had people like Blondie who took interest in it. Then you had, you know, she took it uptown and, and from what I understand and know and know about the culture. In the history of hip hop, she took it into the mainstream. And once that happens, you know, you can't forget about the Latinos. And 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 you know, the Asians still are are are, are trying to make their mark in it, and some have made some significant strides in hip hop, but you know, it's not a white thing, it's an MC thing, it's a natural progression for white people to be getting into the spotlight. And for the first time, we have like two white people at the forefront with the social media popping to the fullest. And, and, and you know, it's like a, a white guy against a white guy. But 
Don't let that confuse you. It's an MC guy. It's an MC against another MC. That's what it is. And that's what the fuck we're going to put it down in history as being. And we don't want to get that misconstrued in any way. You know, this is this was a battle. This was an MC. This is. I say it's still going on because, you know, Machine Gun Kelly can do a response and then M will be forced to respond. Um, Joe Button, um, he said he retired from the mic. Um, but as him being a person that's given his opinion on the shit and being a form and being an MC, because once you're an MC, you still an MC. You a doctor, you still a doctor, whether or not you practice or not. You know, when you give your opinion and call somebody shit trash and you're and you are an MC, whether you're active or not, you gotta respond to that. You you gotta Stand up, stand behind your words. So when a rapper calls you out, it doesn't matter that Eminem is white, but he when he calls you out, you got to stand up and respond. So we waiting on Joe Budden's response. He got to have to get in there. And if he don't, you know, it is what it is. You know, um, I'm going to be honest. I don't agree with him, his, 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 his quietness about the shit, you know? Anybody who MCs or ever MC who Eminem call out on that verse <clears throat> has a duty to defend their name. I'm going to need Joe to come out of retirement and do that. All right. But, but Eminem's project overall, I haven't listened to the whole Kamikaze album. Just the singles that he's been dropping. I heard the joint with um, with Joe. Uh, what's his name? Joey, Joey Lucas. Um, um, if I'm saying his name properly. Um, that song, Lucky You, I thought it was a good song. I liked it. Um, I'll probably be playing it again. And I'm just kind of checking shit as it comes out and as it drops. Because um, I, I kind of like not the idea of not just going to listen to the whole album. I like how I'm just peeping, like checking the track out, letting tracks grow on me. But um, Eminem put out a solid project with Kamikaze. Y'all never heard me speak on Eminem in private or public, really. But this is what I'm going to say about Eminem. You know, I, I have told y'all how I heard about him in Detroit back in the 90s, killing people at the mall. And, 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 and people were saying this, this white kid Eminem is coming out and he's he's a force to be reckoned with. I have spoken on that. And I meant that, you know, I was impressed listening, hearing about him in, in Detroit, in the streets, you know, among, among you know, um, people who are respected. You know, shouts out to my man, O Love. But, um... Eminem is a very, let me, let me, for the record, let me say, I think that Eminem is a very talented MC who not only has bars, but he also, who not only has wordplay, serious wordplay, but he also has good bars. And he, 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 he can pull at your heart string. He can get into your, your heart, into your psyche with his rhymes. It's, he does have content, Lord J, you know. And um, you know we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna acknowledge that we're never gonna. I'm I'm not gonna sit here and and it's not about a black and a white thing, you know it's about a MC thing and 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 from an MC's perspective, Eminem is an MC's MC because his wordplay he's very lyrical but he also can 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 get into your heart and he can get into your your psyche into your your and, and play with your emotions a little bit. You know what I mean? He can make you think and make you feel shit, you know? And um Eminem, I'm I'm you know, all this shit about, you know, the Illuminati and all this stuff. You know, Eminem says in a song, he says, I sold my soul for two Grammys. What the fuck does he mean by that? I would really like to know what he means by that. I went when rappers they play around with this shit a lot and they say shit like I sold my soul. But what the fuck do you mean you sold your soul? Y'all gonna have to start standing up and, and explaining yourselves on this shit. So Eminem, you know, y'all get word down. We want to know, inquiring minds want to know, what do you, be specific about selling your soul because there's, 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 there's mystique around that whole thing. What do you mean you sold your soul? Did you do a, a lewd act, you know? Or did you sacrifice somebody? You, you say you sold your soul for two Grammys, but we're going to get off of that for, for another case. 
but Eminem is um I I, I like I like the, the music Eminem is coming out with. Um if if he's doing shit for for publicity or whatever, he's supposed to do shit for publicity. He's an artist. This is what artists do. But at the end of the day, what are those bars sounding like, okay? What are those bars sounding like, my man? So Mark say apathy. Um. Okay, if he does shit, if it makes you feel apathetic, he did his job. All right, he did his job. If 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 it whatever, you know what whatever you gotta do to get your name out there, have people talking about you, and 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 and, and checking for your bars because at the end of the day, it's about your material. It's about your music. Like I can come on here and say I'm dope. My impal shadows. I've been rapping. A long time and I'll say shit like that and all that but at the end of the day what do I have out what did I put out what does my music sound like is my music representing some official shit or some fugazi shit you listen to my shit you listen to my new single Pal Shadows Unfadable available on iTunes I posted it the free shit on YouTube posted the free shit so you can listen to it on SoundCloud god damn it it's gonna show that I am about I am an MC and I'm still you know Making music that can move one's head, make one nod his head. It's all about the head nod. It's all about the head nod. Actual fact, I'm going to continue to put out more shit that not only people from my generation of hip-hop, but also the new generation of hip-hop can feel and relate to. I got shit, and I'm going to keep doing that because at the end of the day, that's what it's about, your music. And M is putting out good music. He's putting out good material, and he's listening to the criticisms. And he's responding like he's supposed to. I like it because he's not out there saying, I'm too good. I'm too good to respond. No, you're not too fucking good to respond, M. You you are an MC who get who could be criticized like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? This is yours truly, General Power, Noli Shadows from the Almighty House of Hipstep. You know, Fire Step at Entertainment, 2018. You know, and I'm just saying, you know, the M the, the Eminem and MGK. Beef is good for hip hop. I'm glad that it happened. Yeah, no doubt. Salute, salute, family. Um, I'm glad you be seeing eye to eye and everything. It was it's good for hip hop. It's not a white thing. It's a it's an MC thing, and it'll always be an MC thing. You know, you know. But you know, we we want to to the media. Make sure we, you know, we're not making it a race thing. You know, let's keep hip hop hip hop. You know, when you step in that ring, you step in that ring. Whoever wins, wins. Whoever loses, loses. And 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 who and we see how you respond, like a sucker or like a, a real MC, and you come back. You know, when you rep your shit, or do you fall off and you you let that be that? You know, you real MC keep representing. All right, this is General Pal Shadows. You know, um, I'm gonna keep coming on here. I'm thank I thank y'all for tuning in, checking it out. That's my two cents on this situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, you have a right to, to agree or to disagree, but it is what it is. Like I said, the videos will be a little bit shorter because I want to make more videos and I, I want to speak on more things and more issues. Y'all keep tuning in. Follow me on, on, on YouTube, you know, Shadows TV on YouTube and on SoundCloud. And I'm going to keep dropping these videos, you know, more rapid firely and, and whatnot. A little shorter, so I ain't wasting too much time on you. I I love y'all, man. Don't forget to get the single on iTunes right now. Download it if you haven't. It's out here for y'all. Produced by yours truly. I right? I'm a ghost, star bro. Man. I love y'all, man. Each and every last one of y'all. See y'all tomorrow or sometime real soon. Twelve King Steven. Yo, hurricane victims, y'all take care, take shelter, all right? I've been seeing shit about the hurricane, y'all. Y'all take shelter. I'm a ghost, though, man. Y'all enjoy y'all Friday. You got to get out here and do shit. I'm out.